Uh, Daniel, it's not really been a very effective last uh, five games. I think five points out of 15. Uh, wheels falling off at the wrong time? No, 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 not at all. Um, we're still working hard, you know, in training and in, and in games, trying to execute uh, our plan uh, the way that we want to play. Uh, in the last few weeks, okay, some, ga uh, some games that hasn't come off. Mm. Um, but yeah, no, we're looking forward to this game and we're just going to go out and try and do the same things. And I'm confident, the boys are confident, um, you know, that we can get results and come next week when finals come, uh, we're going to be in great condition to contest. The coach gave you a collectively a rather large spray last Saturday night after that game against Perth. Um, did it surprise you in the dressing room? No, no, not at all. Um, if, uh, you know, if he hadn't given us that spray, we probably would have given it to ourselves because, you know, we deserve that. Um, it wasn't good enough. It wasn't good enough, you know, for the fans to come out here and support us week in, week out. Um, you know, to put in a performance like that uh, was, you know, as, as the coach said, it was disrespectful to them um, and to the club. So we're going to try and, uh, and rectify that this week, obviously. Um, we've had a very tough uh, weekend. It's been, it's been sharp. The boys are looking good. Um, so, yeah, we're just looking forward to the, to the next game and the finals. In terms of momentum, Daniel, I mean, they often say finals football is all about momentum. Um, in that sense, it's crucial, isn't it, that you actually get three points this weekend after what's gone on? Yeah, exactly. Um, it's uh, coming into finals. We want to have a, a nice, not just a win, but a, a nice game. You know, one where we we dictate and we and we do the things that we want to do. Um, if we can keep a clean sheet, if we can get some goals, then that's going to be important coming into finals, like you said. Mm. It, it's even more important because if if you do, don't win and Adelaide do win, you'll lose uh, third plus uh, place as well. Yeah, that's right. Exactly. And um, you know, you just don't know how important that can be uh, in the future. So. Exactly right. We've, we are in third place now and it's up to us to lose it, so we want to go out and get the three points and make sure that doesn't happen. Um, Mark Elligan back, Archie Thompson back, Marco Rojas back. Um, the team looks a completely different unit with those three in it. Is that a fair uh, call? Yeah, definitely. Um, if you take out them three players in any team, you know, throughout not just the A-League but throughout the world, three class players like that, um, obviously, you know, it will make a difference in having them back this week and as I keep saying, you know, coming into finals is going to be a big difference and, um, yeah, we're, we're looking forward to it. How are you finding the A-League since returning from China? Yeah, it's very tough. Um, uh, personally, I think the standards improved, even just from last season. Um, I've been lucky enough to play in the last, uh, you know, four seasons as well and um, every year it gets better and better and better. Not just playing-wise, but you can just see, you know, um, the fans that come out to support each week, uh, the enthusiasm, the the way of playing you know now we every team basically wants to play football which is a good thing um, but physically it's, it's very tough uh, if, if you don't turn up for the game um, then you get found out and you know look at last week Perth you know they turned up and and uh, you know we lost 3-2. Psychologically having wrapped up a top four berth so far out um, has that had an impact to even without imperceptibly you know taking your foot off the pedal do you think? No, I don't think so. Um, you know, the way that we uh, we want to play um, means that we have to put in every every single day at training, and when we come to the games, we have to do the, the same things. Um, so, if we you know if we take our foot off the pedal, then um, you can see you know in the performances when we have done that, you know we've we've lost games. So. Um, no, I wouldn't say so. I think that uh, you know, mentally and physically, we, we, we want to give our best all the time, and um, I don't think that has anything to do with it. No. And Professor Cogley, are you, are you finding working under him probably something different than uh, other coaches you've worked under? I imagine. Uh, yeah, definitely. He um he he dem he demands a lot, which is uh, you know the exact reason why I came back here. Um, I want to keep improving as a footballer. Uh, which I said before in the past as well, and um, every day in training, you know, he demands, you know, 100%. Not just um, not just physically, but you know, uh, mentally as well. You have to be switched on, concentrating every every single training session. Um, you have to turn up for game day in the same uh, sort of mindset as well. Um, so it's, it's been brilliant. You know, I've I've loved working under him so far. Um, I suppose there's still three weeks now where we can, uh, you know, really. Um, stamp our authority on this league I guess and um, I think he's the person that you know is, is the right one to be uh, in charge of the club. 
for is, that. Is there a chance that you could extend this to more of a permanent move? Oh, look, I'm, I'm not too sure. It's, uh, that will be, you know, something I'll have to think about after the, after the final series. At the moment, it's just, um, yeah, week to week.